Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Factorio. It's been a couple of days since I've actually looked at this file. I've been playing on a different file uh, with biters on and all that fun jazz and I actually just finished launching a rocket for the first time with biters on and set to default. So that means they were evolving, expanding, attacking me, all that fun stuff. Yay! And I gotta admit, while it was an interesting challenge for a while, it just got tedious after a while, so I'm not a big fan of playing with biters. So I probably won't do it again, at least not on YouTube. I didn't do it at all on YouTube, but I probably won't do it for YouTube at all anyway. Uh, but yeah, anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at what we were doing. It looks like we were expanding our mall. Our mall is a lovely spaghetti mess, like always, which is awesome. And it looks like we've got trains, which is awesome. Do, 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 do. Let's see what else we got. Pumps, engines, train goodies, circuit goodies. What else do we got? All right. Well, let's just keep automating stuff. So what's next? Steel furnace. Do we have steel furnaces already? Or do I need to get that set up? Looks like I need to get that set up. No worries. Steel furnaces. Do I have bricks on the bus? <laughs> it's always fun to come back to a file you haven't been on for a while, just to kind of see where things are at. Looks like I do not have bricks on the bus. Am I smelting bricks at all? It does not look like I'm smelting bricks at all. Let's take a look here. So I'm mining stone, smelting iron and copper, lots of steel, which is great, additional iron, all that fun stuff, but no bricks. Okay. What are we using the stone for? Landfill. Okay. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and start smelting bricks because we're going to need them eventually. So I think what I want to do is... Do, 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 do. How do I want to do this? Because we didn't leave ourselves a lot of room for additional smelting, did we? We could always throw it up here. Because we're not going to need as many furnaces and all that fun stuff. We would only build about half a stack. Um, so instead of 24 on each side, it would be 12 on each side. Maybe that's what we'll do. And that's fine. You can go ahead and just do something like this. I'm also used to playing with mods like um, Far Reach. <laughs> so you see me trying to build stuff from too far away? Habits, man. Habits. Habits, habits, habits. All right. How many is that? I wasn't actually counting. 13. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and route this back. Oopsie. Far Reach. Far Reach, far reach strikes again. Some mods are just really nice to play with, I'm not going to lie. They're just really nice. And let me go ahead and do that, and then that, and then that, and then that, and then that. And there we go. Life is good. And let's go ahead and route our stone into there too. So let's see, to do that, we're going to want to go like that, I think. And then we're just going to do 50-50. I'm not going to prioritize split, nothing like that. We're just going to 50-50 it. Again, far reach. <laughs> Oh man, I gotta stop playing with mods on my personal playthroughs. <laughs> Cause it's gonna get me killed. But I gotta admit, some of those quality of life mods like Far Reach are just super nice. All right, now we've got bricks almost. I need to actually put inserters and power. Almost got bricks. Oh goodness, I ran that way too high up. Oh my goodness. Let's get that fixed. And then, do not have enough inserters. We need to run to the mall. We have all sorts of just extra stuff now. Let's see, I do have my 
<laughs> far reach. I do have my stone chest over here. I've got a chest over here for copper, iron, lovely. Got all these lovely bits that help me out. I love it when past me thinks things through a little bit. It is lovely. All right, let's run to the mall and let's grab some more inserters. And let's see, what else do we need? We can go ahead and just drop stuff off, right? The mall's making almost everything. So we can go ahead and just deposit all of our resources that we have in our inventory to anything else we need to. So let's see, what uses steel? These guys use steel. What uses sticks? These guys use sticks. What uses gears? These guys use gears. Speaking of, let's go ahead and pick up some of these. Let's also pick up some of these. And then we have red belts now. Lots of red belts, actually. I'm going to go ahead and build two stacks of those. But for the time being, let's keep using our yellow belts. I'm going to grab some of those. Let's grab another stack of these. Let's grab another stack of those. Because we don't really have much of a need to use red belts yet. Let's see what else might we need as I'm looking around. Since we now have our medium and large power poles, I really don't have much of a need for the small power poles anymore. So let's grab a couple of those. Let's grab one of those. And then am I making small power poles anywhere, like as a dump for wood? It doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like it, so we can go ahead and just do that. We're going to share this thing. You're going to hold the wood. You're going to make small power poles. And there we go. And then that way we're going to eat up all the wood. We're also going to just get rid of our small power poles because we just don't need them anymore. We'll clear that off of our quick bars. Okay, what else might we need? What else might we need? Just kind of looking around, thinking, processing. Let's keep dropping off stuff that we don't need at the moment. So you can have those. You can have those. Do you use copper? You do. You can have those. Sweet. Let's also start... Now let's finish doing brick setup first and then I'll worry about that. Uh, I can drop off this landfill. I don't know why I have one landfill, but whatever, go away. I'll keep the red wire on me. It could come in handy. I don't know why I have the one chain signal. I'm just going to grab a stack and just throw that in there, because why not? And then I'll throw this in there like that. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, our inventory is nice and cleaned up. We have an extra iron chest, but we'll use it eventually. It's fine. Okay, let's go finish our brick setup. Finish it, finish it, finish it, finish it, finish it. Yeah, finish it. Finish it. Gotta finish it. Are we researching anything? No, because we only have red and green science. No worries. We will get to other sciences soon. We're probably going to do military science next, even though we don't have biters on the map just to have everything researched and happy. Just keeping things nice and clean as I see the little red light on there. I'm just going to pick these up. Just keeping things clean. All good. All right. Now that we've got our inserters, let's go ahead and throw them on here. can just do something like that and then get that connected and boom now we have bricks now we have bricks life is good we have bricks kind of surprised I didn't do bricks earlier I usually do bricks pretty early but that's okay whoops that's okay, we have them now. Let's 
Okay, so now that we have bricks, we can start doing steel furnaces. So steel furnaces need steel and bricks, go figure. And I think I'm just going to expand this more vertically, <laughs> just so that way I'm not adding to this cluster F, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> just so much stuff. Just so much stuff. I mean, I could do it up here. Hmm. Because I'm going to have, like, extra steel coming out this way. Like that, see? So I could leverage that and then bring up the stone all the way up and then loop it on there. But that's just more snaky goodness. Yeah, I'm just going to do vertically here. Okay. So we're going to throw a assembler. Let's just throw it right. Uh, here. And then you're going to input and output. And as far as the inputs go, we're just going to do the steel and brick. So you're going to go that way. And then where do we have steel? Steel is down here. Lovely. Okay. So we're going to do brick. We're going to want to do half. Oh, nope, not there. We're going to want to do a half belt like that. And then we're going to want to merge the steel onto it. So something like that. And we only need half the steel because we're going to be merging half the steel onto half a belt, so it's fine. Cool beans. Let's go ahead and set you to steel furnace. Let's go ahead and limit you to like, I don't know, six. So that would be 300 approximately. And then let's throw power poles on this thing. And there we go. Now we have steel furnaces. All right, what else do we want to automate? Assembly machines too, those would be nice. So what we can do is we can leverage, just like what we've been doing, right? With our inserters and our belts. We've got our assembly machine ones here. We can just throw assembly machines two here and then route the resources we need, right? So assembly machine twos need assembly machine ones. And I'm not gonna add a circuit to these because I will never need assembly machine ones again once assembly machine twos are up and running. And then let's limit that to like four. And then let's see, what else do we need here? We need green circuits and gears, which we have here. And we need steel, which we do not have at the moment. Steel is all the way over here. So we need to figure out how to snake it around. We do have steel coming from here. We could potentially snake it up and over somehow. Hmm, this is going to be a little tricky. Little tricky, little tricky. So we do want to insert and insert. Let's go ahead and power this on. Yep, so that gives us everything but steel. What can we do about steel? What can we do about steel? I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I'm thinking I can maybe route the steel from here or from here even, and just loop it all the way down. That's rather snaky, but that might be the best I've got at the moment. And you know what? Snaky is fine, because once we get bots up and running, we're going to redo our mall anyway. And besides, again, I just kind of want to show you guys that snaky is okay. There's nothing wrong with snaky. There, see? Nothing wrong with snaky. And there we go. Now we got our steel. 
<laughs> Problem solved. Problem solved. Okay. So now we have assembly machine twos. So we also want our oil stuff, which it doesn't look like we've started automating at all outside of things like pumps. We're also not really doing storage outside of feeding it into there. So let's go ahead and get started with that storage tanks. We need iron and steel, which we have iron here and steel here. I also just have iron and steel here in general. Maybe what I can do is something like this, where we can just kind of share like that. Because I'm not going to need too many of these. So I think we can just kind of share like that. That should be fine. Now for the oil refineries. We need steel, iron gears. That's a whole lot of stuff. OK. Let's figure out how we want to do that. So oil refineries need steel, iron gears, stone brick. So here's the steel and brick. We can use this. We have green circuits here. We don't have gears over here. We have gears over here. We're going to need pipe too. We have pipe, but it's all the way over here. Hmm, again, a little tricky, a little tricky, tricky. What else do we need? Yeah, pipe. OK. So we've got pipe here. What we're missing then is gears. Do we have gears anywhere that we can steal? We can steal some from here, perhaps. But that's also going to steal iron, too, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Hmm, let's do that. So there's that. And there's that. So that's everything we need, I think, for oil refineries. Yep. And we're going to need a lot of it. But again, if it takes time, it takes time, and that's fine. So we're going to go ahead and throw one here. And then we're going to do a little trick I like here, where I do a little bit of underground action there. And then do a little bit of double red inserter action. And that way we have everything we need. And then we're going to output up here. And I'm going to take through like four of those. And let's go ahead and power this all on. That should get us everything we need. Yep, it is going to take a while, but it'll get us everything we need. All right, so there's oil refineries. Now we need chem plants, which is more of the same. So again, I'm going to do that. Route the belt there, route the belt out, and then route that. And then we're going to do the same kind of action here. And then chem plants. Go ahead and limit that to four as well, and power it on. Actually, it turns out we didn't even need that inserter at all. Oh, yeah, we did. Never mind. We're good. Okay, so there's chemical plants. Are we already automating labs? We are. Excellent. So now for the productivity modules. I would like to automate them, but we don't have plastic. That means we need to go for oil soon because we need red circuits or advanced circuits. Advanced circuits require plastic. Plastic requires oil. So it's going to be a while before we can automate that. What about solar panels? Can we do solar panels? Are we already doing solar panels? It looks like we are not. So let's go ahead and do solar panels. So that requires copper, steel, and circuits. So let's see, we have copper, circuits, and steel all right here. How lovely. We can go ahead and just borrow that. And we're going to need a lot of these. So I'm going to go ahead and do like three. Maybe even four would be good, but... Then we're going to output this way. 
I'm just going to run a belt and then put that into a box and we're going to not even limit that box. And then we need red inserters. And there we go. Look at that. We have red we have blue assemblers. Let's go ahead and grab those. Let's go ahead and give up these assemblers in there. And we're going to start switching over to blue assemblers because that'll be nice, especially for these things that take longer to craft. That'll be nice. Okay, what else? Uh, pump jacks. It doesn't look like we're automating pump jacks because we haven't done any of these others yet prior. So pump jacks are going to need more of the same. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, let's go ahead and upgrade these. Since these take a little while. There we go. And then pump jacks. That way we can start getting oil, right? Because so that'll be lovely. Okay. And uh, that's a little tricky. Let's do that. Okay, so we'll do fast inserter here. And we'll do double red here. And then we will output this away. I'm just going to do like two stacks of those. And that should be everything we need. Yep, perfect. All right, so that's pump jacks. So we're looking good there. The intermediaries, I'm not too worried about. We're already we're already chesting. Yep, engines. Okay, so we're good there. For military stuff, again, without biters on the map, I'm not too worried about it. I would like modular armor, but again, we need oil for that. I would like portable solar panels or personal solar panels, but again, we need oil for that. Uh, we're going to need oil for batteries because batteries require sulfuric acid, which requires oil. So, yeah, it looks like we're kind of done for the time being. So let's start working towards our next science. So our next science that we can go for rather easily without even building oil at all would be military science. Military science, like I said before, isn't going to be super helpful to us because there aren't biters on the map. It does unlock a lot more military things like flamethrowers and things like that. Really cool stuff to help destroy biters if you're having a hard time with them, which you will over time. Uh, but we're going to automate it anyway. So military science needs red, red uh, magazines, uh, piercing round magazines, grenades, and walls. So again, we're going to take a look at all the crafting stuff and break it down into terms of how much that we need, right? So a military science crafts one every 10 seconds, right? And it takes two walls, one grenade, one piercing round. So taking a look at the walls, right? So walls craft uh, two a second, right? So that means that means one wall recipe will be able to feed 10 military science. Now, sometimes, even though the math works out nice and even there, I'll build one extra just to make doubly sure that even with buffering and everything, it all works out. So I'll probably do two walls. Now for grenades, it takes 10 seconds to craft a military science. It takes eight seconds to craft a grenade. So you could do ratios and stuff like that, but I'm, I'm just gonna build one grenade for each military science I want and it'll stack up and that's fine. I don't mind. And then for the red ammo. So one red ammo crafts every three seconds. So that means it's going to take four red ammos to make 10 military science happy. So four of these, 10 of these, and two of these. And then one red ammo can be satisfied by, or sorry, uh, one yellow ammo can satisfy three red ammos. So since I need four of these, I'm going to need two of these. So let's start from the bottom and work our way up, right? And then I'm just going to do it right here next to our green science. Let's go ahead and expand the bus further down. Hooray! This bus design is nice and expandable. I like it. Okay, lovely. So, we need yellow ammo. And we need two of them. So I'm just going to go one, two. You're going to do yellow ammo. And yellow ammo simply needs 
yellow ammo simply needs um, iron. So we're just going to grab the iron. Like that. And we're just going to output it that way. And then the red ammo needs copper, steel, and yellow ammo. So I'm just going to do one, two, three, four. I'm going to do our red ammo here. And we need copper, steel, and the yellow ammo. So we're going to go ahead and input here, input here, input here, input here. We're going to also input here, 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 here. And we're going to go ahead and output this way. So we're going to need that, and we're going to need that. Okay. So ammo and steel, right? Or sorry, not ammo and steel. Uh, copper and steel. So let's do the copper first. And again, we only need half, so that's fine. And then for the steel, we can do that. Let's go ahead and bring our steel down. We didn't do that before. And again, we only need a half delta that, so we'll go ahead and do that. And life is good. We now have the copper and steel. So let's go ahead and power all this on and make sure it works, right? And it should work just fine. There we go. Yep, and we're now crafting red ammo. Lovely! All right. So the next component that we need for military science is grenades. So we're going to need like 10 of those. And then grenades, what they take is they take coal and iron plates. So we have iron plates here, but we don't have coal. So what I can do... Hmm. I'm considering snaking it this around or splitting it off but I think I'm just gonna do this I think I'll just take it again and then we're also going to need coal so we don't currently have coal on the bus do we no we do not where do we want to put coal? Do we want to put it right by our steel? I guess we can. Because we do need it. Now let's see, where's our... Are we pulling coal from multiple sources? No, just the one source. Okay. We do have coal way down here, but we're not going to go for that at the moment. So right now we're just taking this coal. We're, we're out of coal there. We're prioritizing it, going to power first, which makes sense. And then from there, we're going up and over, and then we're just 50 50 it from there. So it doesn't really matter too much where we take it from, so that means it'll be easier to take it from here anyway. So let's just do that. Uh-oh. <laughs> we got a bit of a problem. It's okay. We can do the snaky thing. There, see? Easy peasy. A little bit of snaking things around didn't hurt anybody. And then again, I think we can actually half and half it. So I'm not going to do two belts. I think I'm just going to do that. 
And that way I can do the same kind of deal for the coal, so I can do something like that. And then I can do that, that, and then. there we go we got iron and coal and now we're going to need like 10 of these guys right so and what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna have the grenades share the same belt as the red ammo let's go ahead and extend that up we're going to extend that up and we're gonna go right there so one two three four five six seven eight and I think I can ratio it out but maybe I'll still just do ten because yeah we need eight grenades for 10 military science. <laughs> Let's do one more, just in case. Again, for buffering reasons. Basically what I mean by buffering reasons is when a assembly machine takes in resources, it tries to take in about, I think it's three of what it needs. Yeah, it's taking in like three yellow ammo, for example. So because the assembly machines want to take three of what it needs, so that way it can make three sequentially without needing to take additional resources if the belts run dry, there comes some. There, there comes a time where if you have everything ratioed perfectly, sometimes the last guy in line just doesn't get what it needs because the others have taken three of what they need. So creating just a little bit extra just helps to make sure that all of your assembly machines always have what they need. So we're going to input this way. And then we're going to output this way. Perfect. And then we're going to power this on. Gonna drag that all the way up to here. We're gonna drag that out. Perfect. And now we just need walls, right? So walls just need stone bricks. So we can just do something like this. We can do like two of these. We can even just go like one more like that. Two of these. Again, just creating a little bit more than we actually need. We'll output that way. We'll input this way. And here we just need to pull the bricks. So let's pull the bricks. Now we don't have, we do have red underground belts, but I don't have any in my inventory right now. So again, I don't mind snaking it just a little bit. It's fine. It doesn't hurt anything. It really doesn't. Actually, I didn't need that. What I do need to do though, I'm gonna go one, two. And there we go. Let's go ahead and power these guys on. And now that we have everything, We can go ahead and do our military science now. So let's, we're going to do 10 of these, right? So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Sweet. Shift right click to copy, shift left click to paste. And then we'll just output this way. And boom. We have military science. Hooray! Let's 
And we just need to make sure all the belts get all the way up. That's actually too long. There we go. All the belts get all the way up, and now we have military science. Sweet! Now how are we routing the science to our labs? So nice big belt of green, and then that's going in here. Okay, so we can just go right underneath all that. So we're just going to do this. We're going to need more yellow belts. Lucky for us, we're going to be running right by the mall so we can grab some. How are we doing on those solar panels? Lovely! Lovely, lovely. All right, let's grab some more belts. I'm debating whether or not to start switching to reds, but let's go ahead and keep using yellows for the time being. We will probably switch to red soon, even though we don't really need to, just because we have them now. So we're just going to route this all along. And then we're going to route this this way. And we'll go this way. Then we're going to go right in front of the labs, and just like what we've been doing with the assembly machines, we're going to throw some long, some long-handed inserters on these things, and that way the labs get what they need. And there we go. Perfect. Go and throw some lights. Maybe here, here, and here, and then like here, here, and here. Perfect. So military science gonna be routing over soon, which is awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. And then yeah, let's go ahead and start switching to red belts. There's our military science coming. Sweet, we'll be able to start some research there soon. It's gonna be awesome. So we're going to want to upgrade our red belt production because I always run into a bottleneck with red belt production and I haven't quite figured out how to get around it yet. But basically the issue I have with automating red belts is when you automate yellow belts, you get two at a time per round. With red belts, you only get one, you don't get two. So that means red belts, they just don't make as fast, right? So as you use them, you just I just find I'm, I'm running out a lot, which is a little sad, but it's all good. We are going to go ahead and do our best to change over to them anyway. So with that, let's go ahead and grab, let's go ahead and grab all 2,000 of these bad boys, why not? All 2,000 of them, let's grab 100 of these and 100 of those, and then let's add them to our hot bar, or a quick bar. So there we go. Let's go ahead and grab some red inserters too, because we're running low on them. And life is good. And then we have some of these let's go ahead and throw them in there let's grab a, a hundred of those because we're gonna need them are we automating steel chests yet also it looks like we're running low ish on gears we're gonna need even more gears always need gears just so many gears all the time where are these gears going 
Oh, they're going this way. Okay, and that makes sense because they chew through a lot of gears. But so do these guys. These guys chew through a lot of gears too. Hmm. How do we get more gears over to the belt? Well, one of the easier things we can do is upgrade these guys. That way they work a little bit faster. Could even play the sharing game and do something like that. But then they're like stealing from each other. But we have a lot of gear assemblies here. So maybe sharing is okay. I just want to make sure that we're making red belts as fast as we can. Even if the underground belts make a little bit slower, I really want to make sure that the red belts are happy. They appear to be doing a little bit better, which is great. But still not quite where I would like them to be. So I'm going to upgrade these guys too. Because again, we just need all the gears, all the time. Upgrade these two. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. How you doing? You doing okay? Maybe. Possibly. Let's go ahead and throw our excess stone here into the landfill. There we go. Throw our excess iron somewhere. You don't need iron. Who needs iron? You need iron. Here, have some iron. You don't need iron, but these sticks do. Here you go, have some iron. Here, you guys have some steel. Uh, you have some green circuits. Who needs gears? You need gears? You do. Here, have some gears. Who needs coal? Here, you smelters need coal. Have coal. Who needs bricks? Steel furnaces need bricks. Who needs copper? You need copper. Who else needs copper? You need copper. There you go. Excellent! Again, just keeping our inventory nice and clean. You need assembly machines. And now that we're doing steel furnaces, we're not going to really need our stone furnaces anymore, so I'm just going to store those next to our steel furnaces. And look, we got tons of steel furnaces. Now, it's worthwhile to actually upgrade the existing infrastructure to the steel furnaces because they use less coal than the stone furnaces do even if we're not going to get any increased output from it, you know? So like, for example, right, all of these smelting columns, they're all optimized for outputting onto yellow belts. So if I were to upgrade these to steel furnaces, right, if we take a look at steel furnaces, steel furnaces, where are they? There they are. Steel furnaces craft twice as fast as stone furnaces do. So they could, in theory, output more plates uh, in the same amount of space. They can output double the plates. So if I were to upgrade all of these stone furnaces to steel furnaces, we could output double the iron. And what that basically allows us to do is upgrade everything to red belts, right? Because red belts go twice as fast as yellow belts. Steel furnaces go twice as fast as stone furnaces. But even if we don't upgrade everything to red belts, it's still worthwhile to upgrade these to steel furnaces because they use less coal. They output twice as much per round of coal used. So we're not going to eat as much coal to output the same amount that we are doing. So it's worthwhile to go ahead and upgrade these. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. It lowers your pollution, which is important for biters. 
and it lowers your coal consumption, which is important for your bus. So that way, anything that needs coal in your manufacturing can get coal, especially because our resource patch is going to be running out sooner or later, right? It's not running out yet. We still have plenty of time. We don't have an emergency on our hands where we have to go get more coal immediately, but it's going to make our coal go a little bit further and delay the time where we must go out and go get more coal. So that's why upgrading these to steel furnaces is still worth it. And then when you upgrade things like this, it puts the old building into your inventory. So for every steel furnace we place down on top of the stone furnace, we get that stone furnace back into our inventory. So we don't lose it. And we are almost out of, uh, out of steel furnaces. So I'm going to go ahead and stop upgrading for the time being. Drop off the stone furnaces that we have now in our inventory. Grab any more steel furnaces we can get. That's almost enough to upgrade another smelting column. Let's go ahead and throw this, upgrade that to a blue assembler. May even be worthwhile to do a couple of these, but... I'm not going to. We're almost done making landfill, which is good. That way we can get our stone back onto the bus. Okay. What else do we want or need? What else do we want or need? How's our power doing? Power is doing okay. It might be worthwhile to expand that a little bit. So maybe we take a moment to expand power. So to expand power, what do we need? We need more boilers, which means we need stone furnaces. So we have some of those in storage. We also need pipes. We're not putting them in the mall because I'm not planning on, on building too many more. I think just one more array ought to do it. So 10, 20, and then here we just need a whole bunch of iron. And we want to make 40. So 10, 20, 30, 40. Lovely. And then let's go ahead and clean our inventory back up. So you take our extra iron, you take our extra furnaces, you take our extra tier one assembler because we did an upgrade. You give me any steel furnaces you have. And then let's upgrade one more of these smelting columns. And then hopefully by the time we're done with that, our hand crafting of our next um, steam engine assembly will be done. Lovely. So where are we doing power? We're doing power here. Okay. So we want another one. So let's go ahead and get another one done. So I, qu I can't quite do another full thing on the other side here because this is all in the way. Well, maybe I can actually. Oh, I forgot to make a offshore pump. That's unfortunate. Need a little bit of iron and a little bit of copper for that. Oh wait, I've got one of my, I've got 20 in my inventory. Yay, go me. Go me. Because ideally what I would like to do is take off of this existing coal line. Do two of these fit? They do if I get landfill. Let's get some landfill. Now I can move my junk box too. I think I can make that work so they both just share the same line of coal. And I don't have to snake it around. Looks a little bit neater. 
Or maybe I'll just snake it around because I don't feel like going back. Yeah, let's just snake it around. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So what we can do... We can snake past our dump chest there. We can snake up. And around like so. And then we can basically do what we did before. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. We can throw our offshore pump here, then use underground pipe to go up. Now they have water. Let's go ahead and throw inserters on there. And then we need to go ahead and hook everything up. So we're just going to follow the same pattern we did before, even though we're using medium power poles for it. It's fine. Oh, we have expanded power because I like to keep that green bar so if we click on this I like to keep this production bar below half right anything above half I start to feel a little uncomfortable so I like to keep it below half hopefully by the time we need to expand power more we have plenty of solar panels and we have oil set up so that way we can get batteries rolling. So that's the plan. All right. So we've been pretty productive today actually. We have, we've been upgrading from stone to steel furnaces, reducing our coal consumption, which is nice. We've been cleaning up, we expanded our power, we got military science, let's start go ahead and doing the research. Um, again, I'm just going to go from left to right, especially because the military science researches for this playthrough aren't as important. But things like flamethrowers are going to be really nice if you have biters on. Flamethrowers are a godsend. Basically, get these as soon as you can, and then get oil set up and run oil through these flamethrowers, and it will defend your base forever. Flamethrowers are amazing. So get those, get those, get those. I'm just going to throw all the research on. There we go. And then our labs should be nice and happy. Yep, plenty of military science. It's all stacked up. All right. Our labs are more than happy. Sweet. We've also got, we've added brick to the bus. We've added coal to the bus. We've expanded our mall. We've been very productive today. This has been a great session. Awesome, awesome session. So good stuff. Good stuff. Look at all this stuff go. Now, grenades can be helpful in general just because we use them to clear trees. 
No, but we don't have a lot of trees because we turned them down a lot, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. But if you had more trees on the map, grenades would be really helpful in clearing trees out. That way you don't have to sit there and cut down each individual tree. That gets very tedious after a while. So yeah, good stuff. <coughs> I think next time we're going to go ahead and start jumping into the first area where a lot of people fall off the wagon, which would be oil setup. And I'll admit, I'm not the best at setting up oil. Um, there's some really cool setups that are out there in order to make sure that everything is properly balanced within the oil setup. And I'm just not good at that outside of using blueprints, but we're going to try to figure it out. So it's all good. If I have to rebuild it 20 times in order to balance everything out properly, so be it. I just want to show you guys it's okay to make mistakes. It's okay for things to go wrong. You don't have to be perfect when it comes to setting up oil, so don't worry too much about it. We're going to try to keep things as basic as we can. So yeah, with that said, I think that's probably going to be our next step. Oil, and then we'll expand our mall some more, and then we'll start heading towards Blue Science, which is going to get us right on the way to getting bots, which completely changes the game. So, going to be awesome. Alrighty. Well, as always, everybody, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was fun, informative, cool. I always have a good time playing Factorio. It's always a good time. Anyway, thank you as always, everybody, and have a wonderful day. <laughs> Bye.